let's discuss today's problem and the problem is add two numbers two so this problem is the extension of add two numbers which is lead code number two so let's understand the problem statement and then we will discuss how do we approach this problem so the problem statement is given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers so the most significant digit comes first and each of their nodes contain a single digit add the two numbers and return it as a linked list we may assume the two numbers do not contain any leading zero except the number zero itself and here is the follow-up and this follow-up makes this question a bit tricky and the follow-up is what if you cannot modify the input list in other words reversing the list is not allowed so let's take an example so uh, in this example a uh, list one and list two are given so list one represent this number seven two four three and this list list two represent this number five six four so in this list the most significant digit is seven and the least significant digit is three similarly for the second list the most significant digit is five and the least significant digit is four and if we add them then the result is seven uh, zero eight and seven now we have to think how do we uh, approach this problem how do we add these two lists so that we get this result and the addition will start from the least significant digit from uh, from the right hand side now the question comes so how do we approach this problem can we solve this problem by simply traversing both the list or do we need any additional data structure to solve this problem in this problem reversing a list is not allowed and to add the numbers we have to start from the end so which data structure do we prefer to solve this problem definitely it is a stack so let's see how using stack data structure we can solve this problem so the idea here is to take two stack and let uh, let's add the list values in a stack so let's take the first list and add its value in a stack so first seven then two then four and then three now similarly take the second list and add its value in a stack so five then six and then four now we have added the list values in a stack the next step is to traverse traverse this stack pop the values add them and then put them in a result list for example so we uh, traverse a stack and pop the values so when we pop pop it from both the stack then the value comes as three and four the second value is four so let let's pop them from a stack so their addition is seven and also we have to add the carry as well so initial value of carry is zero so let's add them as well now uh, take uh, create a new node and in this node its value is seven and it will points to null and the head will points to this node so now in next iteration pick these two values six and four so now the addition is six plus four plus carry and the carry is zero so the addition is uh, 10 now we have to only so each node only contain a single digits so what it means is create a new node which is zero take the value of carry which is one and each node value is the sum modulus 10 why it is because we have to consider the value from zero to nine now this new node is created and when this new node is created uh, the address of this node points to this node and head will now points to this node so when this node is created you can imagine so head will points to this new node zero 
whose value is zero and it will points to the address of uh, this nodes and it will points to the address it will points to null now so in next iteration we pop these two nodes two and five let's add uh, their value and also add the carry so the carry is one so now it's it's sum as eight so again we have to create a new node and the new node is this one its value is eight it will points to this node and head will points to the address of this node so after that uh, this stack is empty but we have uh, one more value in this stack so in next iteration pick this value uh, so i mean pop this value create a new node and the value of new node is seven this will points to the address of this node and head will points to the address of this node and after the complete iteration return the reference of this head node so in this way we can solve this problem and also i have uh, added the link of uh, the lead code add two numbers which is lead code number two problem in the description uh, box so please make sure you check the description box now let's understand the code so the first two line is uh, very straightforward where i have declared two stack stack one and stack two so in stack one i have added all the values of list one and similarly in stack two i have added all the values of list two then i have declared uh, a head a head which is of type uh, list node and its initial value is null and the second variable is carry which has initial value uh, which is initialized to zero then run this loop while stack if this if stack one is not empty or stack two is not empty or carry is not equal to zero so why this third condition the third condition is suppose now the two stack is empty but their addition is greater than nine so in that case we have the carry so we have to uh, make a new node to uh, add this carry as well and we then add this a uh, new node in the beginning of a list and head will point to this list now suppose instead of seven now assume the number was let's say nine and from uh, from the previous addition we uh, get one carry so now when we add this number we get 10 so so from 10 we have one carry and we make a node of zero we make a new node whose value is zero and in next iteration we take care of this carry and we create a new node whose value is one and it will points to this address and head will points to the address of this node so that's why this third condition and now in in this variable in some variable we assign the value of carry so initially the value is zero so in some variable it is in uh, assigned zero then if stack one is not empty then add pop the value from the stack one and add it to the sum variable similarly if stack two is not empty pop the value from stack two and add it to the sum variable so i have explained this process uh, here visually and then create a new node and in this uh, new node so let's say uh, we created a new node let's say its value is seven so the initial value of head is null so it will points to the address uh, of so it will uh, this node will points to null and head will points to this node so these two line are uh, take care of this and then uh, we, if the sum is greater than uh, greater than or equal to 10 then we have uh, we have to set the carry as well similarly in next iteration we repeat this process and we repeat this process until any of the condition is true either stack one is not empty or stack two is not empty or carry is not equal to zero and and after that we return the reference of head 
and here is the code to traverse this list and add its value in a stack so it's very straightforward so it's uh, a simple traversal which we traverse a list and here we are adding its value and uh, we are incrementing the pointer i mean we are moving the pointer so that's it for this video tutorial and for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video